Milk Plastic by Mary Gregory and Megan Williams. Milk is made from a substance called casein. The word casein is derived from the Latin word casus, meaning cheese. Milk has a high number of proline residues and no disulfide bridges. This makes casein have very little tertiary structure. The outside of the casein micelle is hydrophilic, while the inside of a casein micelle is highly hydrated and therefore not very soluble in water. The protein itself is held together by calcium ions and hydrophobic interactions. That might sound a bit fancy, but a micelle is simply a lipid molecule that forms a sphere in aqueous solutions, which makes that all a little more clear. The formula, as you can see, is massive. It's C31H27NO4. Let's talk about the history. Milk has been used for centuries to make natural plastic. It has been used to make jewelry, plastic items, and even for hanging paintings since ancient Egyptians walked the earth. By the end of the 19th century, it became important for actual plastic materials. You can see a few examples of what milk plastic has been used for. We've got all these nifty trinkets. Combs, hair clips, knitting needles, jewelry, buttons, tableware, pens, and so many more. Some of the earliest plastics were based on casein. In particular, Galilith was well known for its use in buttons. Fiber can be made from extruded casein. Lanidal, a fabric made from casein fiber known as Aralac in the United States, was particularly popular in Italy during the 1930s. Since milk's pH is 6.6, .6, casein has a negative charge in milk. The purified protein is water insoluble. While it is also insoluble in neutral salt solutions, it's readily dispersible in dilute alkalis and in salt solutions such as sodium oxalate and sodium acetate. Okay, but how does it actually become plastic? It's milk. Well, it's actually pretty simple. The enzyme renin causes the precipitation of casein in milk. Renin, also called chymosin, is a protein digesting enzyme that curdles milk by transforming casinogen into insoluble casein. found only in the fourth stomach of cud-chewing animals, such as cows, which is the exact quotation from the Encyclopedia Britannica. It's amazing to think about how something as simple and overlooked as milk can be used for such practical purposes, besides drinking, of course. All in all, making plastic from milk is an art no longer practical or necessary. Our mass manufacturing of everything negates the need for such an environmentally friendly and sustainable option. Sarcasm aside, milk plastic would be a very useful and beneficial form of plastic to be brought back into popular use. Who knows, someday it could be forced upon us anyway. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed learning about plastic made from milk.